Imagine if ancient civilizations had refrigeration systems so advanced they could keep food frozen solid for months in desert climates without using a single drop of electricity or any modern technology whatsoever. Welcome back to Beneath the Depths. Today we're exploring one of history's most ingenious engineering marvels, ancient refrigeration systems that work so effectively they put our modern freezes to shame, using nothing but brilliant physics and architectural design that took thousands of years to perfect. These aren't just simple ice storage pits that you might expect from ancient times. We're talking about sophisticated thermal engineering systems called yakchals that could maintain sub-freezing temperatures even when outside temperatures soared above 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the Persian desert. The scale and sophistication of these ancient refrigeration systems is absolutely mind-blowing. Some yakchals were massive structures over 60 feet tall and 100 feet in diameter, capable of storing thousands of tons of ice throughout the hottest months of the year. They were architectural marvels that combined advanced understanding of physics, engineering, and material science. Here's how these incredible ancient refrigeration systems actually worked. Persian engineers discovered that by building dome-shaped structures with specific proportions and materials, they could create natural convection currents that maintained freezing temperatures, even in blazing desert heat. The physics behind their design is so sophisticated that modern engineers are still studying these structures. The construction process itself was a masterpiece of ancient engineering. The thick walls were built using a special mortar called saruj, made from sand, clay, egg whites, lime, goat hair, and ash. This created an incredibly effective insulation material that was waterproof, resistant to heat transfer, and could last for centuries without maintenance. But that's not the most amazing part. These ancient refrigeration systems were completely sustainable and renewable. They used no fuel, required no external power source, and could operate continuously for hundreds of years with minimal maintenance. The only energy input was the winter cold used to create ice, and the natural physics of thermal dynamics did the rest. The ice production process was equally ingenious. Persian engineers built shallow pools called yakdan near their refrigeration domes. During winter nights, these pools would freeze solid, and workers would harvest thick blocks of ice before sunrise. The timing was crucial. They had to collect the ice before the desert sun could begin melting it. What makes these systems truly extraordinary is their use of passive cooling techniques that modern green building designers are only now rediscovering. The dome shape created natural air circulation patterns, while strategically placed vents and channels directed cool air where it was needed and expelled warm air from the system. The thermal mass of these structures was carefully calculated to maintain stable temperatures. The thick walls absorbed heat during the day and released it slowly at night, creating a thermal buffer that kept the interior consistently cold. This principle is now being used in modern sustainable architecture and energy-efficient building design. Recent studies using thermal imaging and computational fluid dynamics have revealed the incredible sophistication of these ancient cooling systems. Computer models show that the airflow patterns and heat transfer mechanisms in yakchals were optimized to a degree that rivals modern refrigeration engineering. Archaeological evidence shows that these refrigeration systems were used not just for storing ice, but for preserving all kinds of food, meat, Dairy products, fruits, and vegetables could be kept fresh for months, allowing ancient civilizations to maintain food security through harsh seasons and during times of scarcity. The geographical distribution of these ancient refrigeration systems is remarkable. Variations of this technology have been found across the Middle East, Central Asia, and parts of the Mediterranean, showing how this knowledge spread along ancient trade routes and was adapted to different climates and local materials. Some of the most impressive examples still standing today are in Iran, where several yakchals continue to function exactly as they did centuries ago. Tourists and scientists can visit these structures and witness firsthand how ancient engineering principles can outperform modern technology in terms of energy efficiency and sustainability. The knowledge preservation aspect of these systems is equally fascinating. The techniques for building and operating yakchals were passed down through generations of master builders who guarded the secrets of their construction. 
Much of this knowledge was lost during periods of conflict and modernization, and only recently have researchers begun to fully understand how they worked. Modern applications of ancient refrigeration principles are being developed by engineers working on sustainable cooling technologies. The passive cooling techniques used in Yakchals are being incorporated into modern buildings, food storage facilities, and even space habitats where energy efficiency is crucial. The economic impact of these ancient refrigeration systems was enormous. They enabled the development of ice and cold food industries in desert regions, supported larger populations in harsh climates, and facilitated long-distance trade in perishable goods. Some historians argue that these cooling technologies were essential for the prosperity of ancient Persian civilizations. Climate change researchers are particularly interested in these ancient systems because they offer sustainable alternatives to energy-intensive modern refrigeration. As global temperatures rise and energy costs increase, the principles behind Yakchals could provide solutions for cooling needs in developing countries and remote areas. The precision engineering required to build effective Yakchals demonstrates that ancient civilizations possessed sophisticated understanding of thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, and material science. This challenges our assumptions about the technological capabilities of pre-industrial societies and shows that innovation doesn't always require modern tools. Recent restoration projects have brought some ancient refrigeration systems back into operation, proving that these technologies can still function effectively today. Local communities are rediscovering the benefits of these sustainable cooling methods and incorporating them into modern food preservation strategies. These ancient refrigeration systems that worked without electricity for 2,000 years represent some of humanity's most impressive achievements in sustainable technology. They prove that sometimes the most elegant solutions come from working with natural physics rather than fighting against it. The fact that these ingenious cooling systems could maintain freezing temperatures in desert heat using only brilliant engineering and natural materials reminds us that ancient civilizations were far more technologically sophisticated than we often realize and that their innovations still have much to teach us about sustainable living. What other ancient technologies do you think might hold solutions to modern environmental challenges? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more incredible discoveries about the ingenious innovations our ancestors developed to thrive in challenging environments.